Hey, what's up guys? Chris Connor here and welcome to part 2 of our cinematic concept tutorial. In this part, we're going to implement sound design and take our effects to the next level. With that said, let's take a look at the clip. <laughs> Now, coming from a VFX background, it's important to realize the significance of sound. Guys, sound transcends the viewer's perception and links shots together like nothing else. Before we get started, make sure to download my free sound pack of high quality gun sounds from the link in the description and actually study the clip that I provided because if you take a closer look, you will realize that we put sound effects where they're not supposed to be sound effects. Let me explain. After studying films like John Wick and James Bond, I realized that they put specific sounds where they would not actually occur in real life. When the character moves the gun from one way to the other, or it rises before he shoots, they put specific sounds like power moves and metallic sounds to make the viewer go at the edge, let's say, which I thought was really interesting. Don't worry, we're gonna take a closer look on all of this today. Now, ready? Fire up After Effects and let's get started. So the first thing we do when we first open up After Effects is um, set up our project. We do this by clicking this thing and this is these are our project settings now this is my selection um, if you follow the link in the description it will take you to a video tutorial where i explain um, which one of those things do as well as render settings so i will press ok and now i'm ready to import my files so I'll go to my folder and these are my files as you can see i have vfx from the first part of the tutorial, SFX, which is sound effects, and my clips. Now I'll click this clip, which is basically um, what we did in the tutorial, rendered out with no sound. And I'll, I will drag it into After Effects, drag and drop. I'll select it and drop it into a new composition, and we're ready to get started. So I will go forward and I will see where where is my First, sound effect. Now, it's important to understand something. My methods are a bit off the book, and what I like to do, I like to do all my sound design within After Effects, render just the sound, and make um, any sound effects that are needed within Adobe Audition, render that out, and bring it back in. This way, I can adjust the sound on the timeline in a per frame manner. Now you can do the same with Adobe Premiere, but I really love After Effects and so this is my main editor even for sound design. So we go forward. This is the first sound effect. So base for me, there should be a very small metallic sound where I, I touch the slide, when I pull the slide backwards and then forwards. Now of course there can be more sounds. For example, you can see that the handcuffs are swinging back and forth and maybe some clothing sounds, but today we're focusing on the gun sound. So what I will do is I will go here and open my sound effects pack and I will go to can falling. Now I'll select gun pin number one and drag it in and drag it in again. Awesome. I will click B on the keyboard to reduce the timeline and then N again so I can preview the exact part that I want and make any micro adjustments that might be needed. So I will open the sound effect by clicking this arrow and then audio, then waveform and here we can see the actual sound and I will drop drag it into the actual position. I will zoom in 
and each the effect should happen oh i didn't mistake the timeline is way forward let me put it back and it should be right there okay zoom back in and i will try to align the sound effect with the image this is right about there now this sound is way too high pitched for something that simply touches the slide so i will click audio levels and drag it down by minus 25. also i will right click time time stretch and i will make this sound way snipier by reducing its life i will click 75. i will realign and we're good now I like to do two to three sounds and then um, render them back together to see where I am. So I will bring in my slide effects, which I will now, as you can see, the sound pack that I gave you guys has a lot of options. Um, I like to use the slide extra because it has many variants and it's more metallic and it's not something you usually hear from a gun slide. So I will bring it in, do the same thing, select audio. Select waveform and I will zoom out a bit because this one is quite long. So what I will do, I will use number three. So I will go here, zoom in. And this is where I will crop my video because as you can see, my sound, um, this portion is a slide going up and this portion is a slide going down. So by clicking page up and down, you can switch between frames. So that's my frame where I will split the sound layer. So control shift D. Awesome. Then I will go here, select my layer, control shift D again, because I do not need anything before. And I will open my waveform again. Awesome. So I will zoom out just a touch and I will try to find the moment where the slide is being pulled which is right there and I will zoom back in and align the sound effect right there up I will zoom out and go forwards towards where the slide goes down again which is right page up reach down right there I will open the slide going down sound layer which we split it and there we are so I will align it right there. I will go forward, hit Control, Shift T, and delete. And I will close my sound layers for now. And I will simply preview this portion of the clip with the new sounds. Let's take a look. Wow, it's actually on, on spot. That's why I like using After Effects, because you can go frame by frame and put the sound exactly where it needs to be. Awesome. I'm very happy with it, so we'll move on to the next ones. Now, let's move forward towards where the gun... So, there we go. Check this, guys. As I pull the gun up, there is a thing that, personally, I call the power move that I was talking about previously. When this happens, many films and um, YouTube videos from Freddy Wong, for example, they put a specific power move sound and metallic sound that the gun makes at that exact power move right there. So let's see, I will move my preview forward. What right there, awesome. And I will go to my sound folder and there should be something called, there we go, gun power move, drag and drop. I will bring it into my composition. And I will bring it forward in the timeline. I will do the exact same thing, audio and waveform. So let's zoom in here. Well, now, what I like to do about this one is two things. One crop the last part and then go here put a audio level keyframe and then go back and reduce it so this way it's more it um 
appears in a sound way, let's say, more smoothly. So I will go towards here and check the video. Right there is when it stops, so I will put it right there. And at, like I said, I prefer to do two to three sounds, so let's move forward just a bit to where the first gun blast occurs. Let's zoom out. And it's right, right there. So page up, page up, and page down. This is where our actual gun sound should occur. So I'll go to my folder, go back and go to the actual sounds. Now, this weapon is a clock, but my sound effects are for a Beretta, but honestly, it will work just fine. Um, so what I would like to use for this one, as you can see, I have gunshot, with a metal sound and a pressurized sound. I also have metallic sounds, just the pressure and things like, and singles. Now, well, personally, when the gun fires, I like to hear the gunshot as well as the slight movement. Hence, gunshot metallic. So we click gunshot metallic number two and drag it in. Drag it in here. Try again. Awesome. And I will go at the beginning and bring it forward. Now, if you notice, the interesting thing is that I stuck up sound effects like layers. And I will open audio and waveform right there. So this occurs there, so I will just bring it up like that. Awesome. And if I remember correctly, there's a gunshot right after this one. No? Yes. Okay. Let's go page down, page up, there we go, there's a second one. Now, here's a cool trick. I will duplicate my gun sound effect, I will change the order, and I will bring it forward just a bit for when the second gun sound effects. And I will do the following, I will right click, time, time stretch and put it on 90. Now, you should be very careful about the change in the time when um, sound effects um, are considered because even the slightest number change will affect the sound effect. Now, by changing it to 90, you make it just a bit quicker and even though it's the same sound, the audience hears it just enough variable in the sound effect that makes them feel like it's a different sound effect. So I will press OK. And actually, let's preview this part. So I will close my sound effects for now and I will click preview. Come on. Almost there. OK, let's hear this. Okay, as I can see, while it um, previews, I can see some red letters, which means that the sound is not synced due to the preview, so I will drop it to half and do this again. Let's see. One and two. Okay, so the... Gun sounds are perfectly aligned, but this one, the power move, happens way too fast. So I will drag it forward just enough and try it again. Let's do it just enough again, right there. As you can see again, for some reason, the preview does not work in my favor. So I'll just reduce and try it again. Let's put it just enough more, right there. Actually, we'll zoom out just enough, let's see. Let's try it again. Awesome, okay. So this looks pretty good, I'm happy. I will just do some micro adjustments and see if 
they have any difference. Cool, okay. So this is done, so just for the sake of previewing, let's hear the whole thing once. Come on. Okay. Yeah, the sound is not really synced because of the preview, so... Anyways, let's move forward. And right there, there's another very snappy um, move. And I would like to do the exact same thing. So I will click my power move and hit Control D to duplicate. I will bring it up and drag it forward. Then I will open the audio file and check out the waveform. Now. Because this move happens again, I would like to do the same trick and change the speed of the sound effect. So I will right click, time, time stretch, and change it to 70 this time. So it's gonna be way quicker, but the move itself, see, right there, it's so much quicker than the previous one. So I will align the sound, and let's actually move forward right there. This is the third, Gunshot, I think. So for this one, I will actually change the clip from the first one to let's see, we have Gunshot Metallic 2, which we used. So for this one, I will use the Gunshot Metallic number one, drop and drop. Awesome. And I will click it and drag it into the, com the composition right there. I will go to the beginning of the timeline and bring it forward, right there. Open the audio and waveform. And this occurs right there. Now for this one, I will actually leave the speed the same, but I will control, hit control D to duplicate. Let's bring it up because the waveform is already open and I will scroll forward. One, two, three, and there we go. And I will realign and I will click right click time time stretch. And for this one, hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's leave, leave this one a hundred and open this one time time stretch and make this one faster because on the previous, on the first two, we first had the first sound effect be 100 and the second one just a bit faster. So for this one, we reverse it and the variable will help solve the effect. So I will press OK. I will close and let's preview this portion. Ah, uh, see? Look how good this looks, guys. One more time. See? Very cool. Okay, I'm very happy with how this is going, so I will move forward. Now, here is a third power move. Now, for this one, I'm not sure if we need to use one, but you know what? Let's just try it. So, I will go to my power move which is right there, hit control, D to duplicate and bring it up. Bring it forward and open the waveform values. It's right there. Now let's see where the move happens. It's right there, so I will put it around there, I'm guessing, and click OK. But for this one, I will leave the power move to Actually, I will change the time, time stress. Let's put it to like 85, but open the audio levels and change it and make the sound less evident by putting to minus 25, let's say. Let's see how this looks in a sec. And for this sounds, you see there's one and the second one is like um, an empty fire one. That's why there's no flare. So what I will do about this one, I will actually use the gun pressure sounds. So just to save some time, I will go to the first gunshots and copy the 
metallic ones by hitting control. Let's go to the first one, control, did duplicate, bring it up, open the waveform and bring it forward. Page up, right there. So that's where the first sound occurs. Now for this one, I will actually go back to my folder and select the, hmm, which one? Let's go for the gun pressure one. Gun pressure. Should we go for the metal one? Yeah, let's go for the metal one. Drag and drop. Bring it in. Go to the beginning of the timeline. As you can see, the process is exactly the same. Um, and I will op close this one, open the waveform, and align the sound effect right there. No, that's too close, right there. I will close this, close this one, and let's preview this part. Yeah, awesome. Come on. It's almost done. Now, this one is way too low, so minus 25 was not a good choice. So let's do minus 10. Close this and for this one's one and two. I will actually click B and reduce because we have the same problem with the preview. That sounds way cooler. Now for this one, because the first one seems a bit more, um, a bit like the first gunshot, you can hear it more than the second one, but because the second one is the last one, we want it to be more intense than the previous one, because it's the last one. So I will go here and put minus five. Let's see how this sounds. Way better. Actually, I will increase the timeline now. Go forward. And I think we're almost done. It's just right there. There's one sound there and then a power move and a click. Yep, awesome, okay. So for this move right here, if it was like an actual move in real life, you wouldn't hear much except for the handcuffs, but we will put a slide sound just to make it a bit cooler. So I will close all my sound effects and go to the beginning where we use the gun sounds. And if I can see, I will simply control D, one of the slide sounds, and I will bring it up and then forward. And I'll play with it and see wh what I can do with it. So waveform. Now, of course, the move happens right there. This is way too loud probably, so I will go to minus 10 and change the time to, oh, it's already 90, okay. So let's hear this one out. Oh, that was a mistake. I copied the, yep, gunshot. So let's delete this and find, where is it? Gunshot, gunshot. Can power move. Oh, we have more sound effects on the back. That's why. So I will take this slide, hit Control D to duplicate, and bring it up, and then forward. I will go again to my right there. This way, curse. Open my waveform and realign. I will also change the level to minus ten. And let's see what we got. Hmm. Right click time, time stretch. Let's make it 110 and see what's up. And bring it just enough forward. And maybe minus 15. And let's pre. Eh, I like it. It's not super perfect, but let's see. Let's see. There, and put it back. Okay, it's possible, let's say. 
and click OK. Now you need to remember that if you put soundtrack on the back, like when I did on the actual clip, all the sound will merge together because now it sounds kind of empty because there's no background noise, there's nothing. So trust me, this, even though it sounds a bit out of place, when you actually combine it with all the other things, it's gonna sound really good. So there's just one last thing and it's a last power move right there and the slide that comes up back up right there. You see, if you look right there, you can see the slide that comes up. Awesome. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is select my power move for one last time with this one, hit Control D to copy, bring it up, bring it forward, let's find right there. Open the waveform so we can see what the sound does. It's right there. And zoom. Awesome. And for the last one, I will just copy the first slide, hit control D, because we used the other part, and bring it forward. Let's open up the waveform, and it occurs right there. Awesome. Let's preview this one. Uh, the preview does not make any efforts to help me out. So let's try it again. That's it. Pretty good. Now the power move is a bit too much. So I will go right there. Minus 15 and let's make it just a tad faster. Time times stretch and let's make it 75. And right there. Let's preview this one. Awesome. Just right there. Like micro adjustments, you know, just to make everything look right. Okay, let's try it again. Awesome. And that's it. So that's the end of the sound design tutorial of a gunshot. Um, I hope you learned something. I know it's tough. Like, um, VFX artists are not really sound designers, but with this tutorial, I hope you saw an in-depth look on what goes behind and how you can combine specific sounds to create something really interesting. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. My name is Chris Connor, and this is Creatrix. Stay awesome.